bugs. Okay, bugs. We're the bugs. Everybody's go. We're the ugly, cuddly bugs. Let's party. We're the bugs inside your kitchen that you never knew were there. We don't come out when you're a bug, but bugs are everywhere. In the bin there lives an artist. His name is Doodlebug, and looking in the crystal ball is charming Mr. Bug. Bugins here tries very hard but never does too well. Grubbug loves to eat and plug bugs knows knows every smell. We're the bugs, yeah we're the bugs. We're the ugly, cuddly bugs. We're the bugs, yeah we're the bugs. Bug alert! Ah, here we are then. Oh, right then. Uh, oh no, the door's locked. Right, we'll need something huge and heavy to batter it down. Grub bug, bug coming! Three, two, two one, charge! Don't oh, get <laughs> up, Grub Bug. Oh, honestly, he's always last. Yes, well, he has had to carry the fruit. Oh, moan, moan, moan. And don't spill the yoghurt! <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> home sweet home. Oh, what's that smell? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry about that. What a dump. <sighs> you can say that again. I prefer that old home. Yes, well, we'd all be there now if you hadn't decided to build it into a blooming sports centre. Yeah, honestly, grub bug. The attic's for rubbish, not for inflatable swimming pools. Mm, it did make a terrific pop when you leapt off the diving board. Now, let's look around, cos I want the biggest bedroom. Uh, no, that's mine. Mine? No, leave it out, you two. Uh. Come on, let's explore. Hmm. Oh, come on, then. It's mine. 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 Uh. Uh. <laughs> I think the fridge is broken and I'm covered in raspberry ripple. Ew. Oh, this is perfect for me. I do like a nice bunk. Oi, what are you doing in my bedroom? It's not yours. I've bagsied it. Bagsied? I'll give you bagsied. Oh, right. Oh, <coughs> oh take that. Good. Hmm. What you doing, man? All right. This is now our home. I have marked out the territory. <clears throat> so I get this half, and you get this half. Oh. <clears throat> kind of snug, man. <clears throat> well, I gotta have somewhere for my activities. Who? I am not getting in the way of that. <clears throat> okay. Let's try this place out and see if it works. <clears throat> I say, I say, I say. Uh, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Where do frogs hang their coats? I do not know, man. Where do frogs hang their coats? In the croak room. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the jokes work just fine here. Come on, man, let's unpack. Okay, now where's my suitcase? I've got to let out the scorpions. Ah. I've just had a face full of pillow from Doodlebug. Oh. I'll get that bedroom if it's the last thing I do. Oh, bedrooms? Where will I sleep? Under the toilet. Oh, same as last time. <laughs> oh, well, the bend cricks my neck, but you do get used to it. Wait, wait, I have just had a brilliant idea. Oh, no, not another idea. We've only just cleaned up after the last one. I think we should turn this place into a restaurant. Can't we just do nothing, Grubbug? Out there can be the dining room. This can be the kitchen. We'll need a dumb waiter. Ah, Buggins. I'm not washing up. I go wrinkly. Buggins, you can be the head waiter, taking orders and carrying large platefuls of steaming nosh to all our customers. Um, oh? Ah, changed my mind. You look after the bins. Mm. Plug bug, you can be the head waiter. Super! Will I get a uniform? Yes. Lovely. I shall be the head chef. I have a way with food. Yes, people want to throw it away. It is time to prepare lunch. Shepherd's pie. Plug bug? Get mincing. Right you are. There, that's 
should do it. I don't think Plugbug will stay very long when he finds a frog in his bed. <laughs> there. Here, mind the case. I put my favourite china ornaments in there. Well, now you've got a lot more, only they're smaller. Right, we are going to live in here. Oh, OK. I hope they've got on cold running water. Why? From our lizard. Oh, right. For a moment I thought you were going to start, well, you know, washing yourself. Yeah, get a grip. Sorry. Right, let's do a joke. Go on, then. What goes right up to the front door but never comes inside? Uh, don't know. What goes right up to the front door but never comes inside? A doorstep. <laughs> Come on, let's go find a place to live. Gooey! Ah, this could be the perfect bedroom for me. A thriller by the bed and a plumped up duvet. In fact, I could get a ten minute snooze in right now. <laughs> 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 Those slippers were tight. Rubber can be so sweaty. Right, that's the food made. One hundred rissoles and a bucket of weasel curry. Good. There's an awful lot. What shall we do with it till it's needed? Stack it in the yard. It'll stay fresh. Most of it. Right. We'll need some pots to put it in. Those up there will do. Plug bug, bend over. Hey? I need to leap up and get those pots down. Oh, oh all right then. <laughs> now, brace yourself. <laughs> I'm going to take a running jump. Yes, it's often been suggested, Grubbug. I will then jump onto your back, leap up, and hurl myself onto the top shelf. Oh, right. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three! <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh! Plugbug, get your nose out! <laughs> oh! Ooh. Right. I think I'll bagsy this bit as well. So, I'm having the bedroom, the garden, the big study and the billiard room. All mine. <laughs> Good. And to make sure no one tries to get in, I'll put this keep out sign on the door. <coughs> oh, want to make one yourself? Have a look at this. In the bin! Right. First you'll need some coloured card. Then, to make all the letters I'm using lots of different materials. Paper, felt, card, foil, whatever. You'll need to write the letters on each piece and then cut them out. Then, you put a bit of glue on each letter and stick them onto the card until you've spelt the words KEEP OUT. You can then add decorations like glitter and stickers. When the glue's dried, put sticky tack on the back and put it on your bedroom door. <laughs> That'll keep people away. And if it doesn't, you could try a danger sign. Or, if you've got visitors, what about a welcome sign? Go on, have a go. A colourful sign for your bedroom door. I think that should do it. What was that crashing noise? It was Plugbug. I jumped over him. I think I'd rather put his nose out of joint. You can say that again. I have now decided to use a ladder. Oh, much safer. And I need you to hold it. Suddenly not safer at all. Right, here goes. Right, I'm going to lean over. I think... I can just get it. Uh, hmm, uh, I wonder, will he manage to reach it? Or oh, will he, overbalance, knock the ladder over and come crashing down with an almighty shriek? Uh, nearly! Nearly! Uh, oh! Oh! Yep, the crashing and the shrieking. Oh well, come on, let's go and play with Buggins. I've got a new toolkit. Lovely. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Stay there, man. I do not want your bits flopping onto my side. I can't help it, man. Oh, okay, man. Here's another joke. Oh, how lovely. Why did the house go to see the doctor? I do not know, man. Why did the house go to see the doctor? Because it had window panes. <laughs> <laughs> now, Plugbug, you will be the waiter in our restaurant, so you will need some training. I won't need much. I think I have the necessary qualities. Well, yes, the rudeness and dirty fingernails are a start, but you'll need more than that. Oh, OK. You'll need to get some practice waiting on tables. Now, pretend I'm a customer. Get out! Eh? What do you mean? We're closed. Pretend we're open. How? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? A table for two, please. Two, sir? Yes, I'm very hungry. <laughs> this way, sir. <clears throat> now, Plug Pug, you need to make your customers feel at home. Oh, right here, Grub Bug. <laughs> Not your home. Oh. Waiter, to start with, can I have a roll? Oh, yes, certainly, sir. <laughs> no! A bread roll! Well, why didn't you say? Give me strength. Okay, I've got my food. So let's pretend something has gone wrong. Oh, my leg! Oh. Not with you! Oh, oh, uh, sorry, um, is there something wrong with the food, sir? Yes. Waiter, there's a fly in my soup. <gasps> Keep your voice down, sir. Everyone will want one. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Come back, sir. There's more where that came from. <laughs> there you are. This looks like a good spot. Hmm. Yellowy grease on the ceiling, mm. bits of rotting cabbage on the walls, and, uh, ooh, I don't know what that is on the floor. Yep, this'll do nicely. So, tell me, what gets into a house through the keyhole? Uh, I don't know. What does get into a house through the keyhole? The key? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what that is on the floor. It's a banana! Hmm. This kitchen doesn't feel like my old one. It doesn't smell quite right yet. Still, I know how to make myself feel at home. Eat. As I always say, home is where the stomach is. And my stomach certainly gets around. I'll make a food house. Made the fridge! Uh. And here it is. All foody and housey. You wanna make it? Here's how. First, you need to spread a licorice lace into a triangle shape for the roof. Then, arrange six cracker biscuits to make the building. Slices of carrot make good windows, and a bit of grated cheese makes them tasty, too. A licorice sweet in the roof for a chimney, and bits of cress make a good grassy garden. Finally, to finish off, squirt on some black icing for the roof tiles. And then you can make the door with lots of little sweets. And there you have it. A house fit for a king. Or grub bug. Or you. Make it, then eat it. Marvellous. Bug alert! Knock, knock. Who's there? Irish stew. Irish stew who? Irish stew in the name of the law. <gasps> <laughs> Right, it's time for the grand opening of our little restaurant. <sighs> Mystic Mug, over to you. I have great pleasure. Yes? No, that's it. Oh, uh, go on then, cut the ribbon. Ya <laughs> 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 Now open the doors, uncap the buckets of curry, and let's party! A fine motto, Grub Bug. I'll go in the kitchen and start making seconds. Super! Oh, a restaurant full of people. We're all going to be rushed off our feet! Yeah! Home, 
sweet home There's no place like it Home, sweet home There's no place quite like home There's no place quite like home Nothing can compare The smell is just disgusting And there's rubbish everywhere The fridge is going moldy The carpet needs a shave The toilet is unspeakable It's like living in a cave Home, sweet home There's no place like it Home, sweet home There's no place quite like home There's nowhere quite like home Is just the perfect place The sink is going stagnant <laughs> And the cooker's at its grace <laughs> There's grease upon the ceiling There's woodworm in the doors The rising dam has reached the roof And you stick to all the floors <laughs> Sweet home, there's no place like it. Home, sweet home, there's no place quite like home. Home, sweet home, there's no place quite like home. Yeah, come here. Coming. Yeah, tell me. Have you ever seen a window box? No, I haven't seen a window box, but I've seen a golden fence. <laughs> Got him. <sighs> come on, come on. Where is everybody? There must be somebody out there who wants our food. Ooh, a customer! Let me see! Let me see! Oh, oh it is a customer! Oh, we've got the customer! We've got the customer! Oh, oh, oh. What's that noise, Grubbug? What does he want? What does he want? Who? That man, our first customer! Does he want the special? I'll get the lard! Hey, uh, no, 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 he's not a customer! He just came in to find out the way to the bus stop. The bus stop? Who? Right! I don't care. He's got to eat anyway. Sit him down and get an order out of him. <sighs> well, I'll try. Um, our chef says you have to eat. Oh, but my boss... Oh, <laughs> all right then. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what do you have in then, sir? Um, can I have... Yes? Can I have a slice of white bread? Yes. Thank you. What? Just a slice of white bread? Yes, please. Anything on it? No, just bread. Straight from the packet. Bread? From the packet? All right, I shall ask Chef. But he won't be pleased. Oh... White bread. What? Bread? A slice of white bread? I've been cooking for hours and he just wants bread. I'll give him bread, all right. He can have bread. Oh. Just calm down, grub bug. Why should I? He's not the kind of customer we want in this place anyway, little squirt. Oh. Look, see if he wants pudding as well. Oh, all right. I'll ask. <laughs> um, hello again, sir. Uh, yes, white bread will be fine, and that's on its way. Now, um, is there anything you'd like for pudding? Oh, um, actually, I think I'll just be, um... You know, I, I, I'd better go. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, do come back again soon, sir. I hope everything was to your satisfaction. 
Oh. Where is he? He's gone. You frightened him off. Serves him right. I can see we're going to have to keep you away from the customer's grub bug. Loathsome. All of them. Oh, well. Come on. What? We've got 100 rissoles and a bucket of weasel curry to eat up. Oh, dear. I'll get my ladle. <laughs> Try this one. <laughs> <clears throat> Waiter, tell me, is this cottage pie? Why, yes, sir, it is cottage pie. Well, fetch a doctor. I think I've eaten one of the windows. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are! Keep back! We are full of weasel curry! I am wrecked! Oh, dear! What happened to the restaurant? No one showed! We ate it all! I feel sick! No time for that now, I'm afraid! Why? A hundred people have just walked through the door. They want feeding. Oh, no. Grubbug, get the curry powder, a bucket and your finest weasel. We are open for business. <laughs> <laughs>